So previously, we talked about retroviruses as well as their role as a viral-mediated gene delivery system. Now, let's move on to non-viral-mediated gene delivery systems. Safety concerns about the use of viruses in humans make non-viral delivery systems an attractive alternative. These non-viral delivery systems can be either direct or indirect. A direct method would be microinjection, where there is a direct introduction of therapeutic DNA into target cells. An indirect method would involve the use of a vector to introduce therapeutic DNA into the target cell. Non-viral vectors are easy to use, easy to produce on a large scale, and they do not trigger off an immune response. Liposomes are commonly used for the non-viral method. Liposomes are just artificial lipid spheres with an aqueous core. It's able to carry large amounts of double-stranded DNA and it's able to pass the DNA through the target cell membrane by fusing with the cell membrane of the target cell. The liposome is lined with phospholipid bilayers similar to the cell membrane. The advantage of using liposomes is that it's able to carry large amounts of DNA and it can be targeted to specific cells or tissues by modifying the liposome membrane. Unlike the use of viruses, there are also no concerns about immune reactions or concerns with viral replication. However, liposomes have a few disadvantages. They are pretty safe but not very effective. They have a low transfection efficiency and they also have a low integration efficiency. Unless specifically engineered to include regions of homology, DNA will not integrate into the whole cell genome. And even if it does integrate, this integration is random. There is low gene expression of the gene product as well. And there's also a small degree of toxicity. At this checkpoint, you should be able to talk about an example of a non-viral mediated gene delivery system as well as its advantages and disadvantages.